Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why would they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle certainly this is a very very impressive venue quite a sight to behold as you can see we've already started here one through here, hits one, and in again, good stop, that wasn't easy, oh that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling, his reflexes were ultra sharp, last ditch defending but that'll do, loose ball, who's going to get there? He's played him through. Chance! Goal! That was a given. It always was. Yeah, and all engineered, Peter, by some smart running and movement. That's already something to admire, but how about the pass? Just wonderful. Loved it. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. He's on the move, and he's going to have to go it alone. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. He's looked long this time. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Uh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Ball through needs to be good here. Just the goalkeeper to beat. Tries a shot! Hoists it forward. Breaks on here. And they've been caught out here. Gets the better of his man. Hits one! Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1 0. And it's half time here. There we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. There has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Leading one. And the shot! And yes, it's there! Two up now, and they are cruising. Well, that always looked the likely outcome. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. So that's two now without reply. We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. Forward it goes. 
And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. That's great defensive work. It doesn't take too much imagination to guess what would have happened otherwise. Well, he was thinking about headlines, I'm sure, but he ought to focus more on, on breaking lines. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Striding forward. He's had a go! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Full play back and has booked him for the original offence. Gets up to head it! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work though. Broken through, has a hit, and more, and more, and more. And the lead is three, it is surely done. And that really is so, so impressive. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Well, the ball's come loose, and the bees had a shot. It's in. Results no longer in doubt. It's just about how many. The United Arab Emirates are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's their clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. Things looking so easy, almost too easy here. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition look completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. He's on his way. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Field. Battles to win it back. He's left his man. Good running with the ball. Goes for goal! He has done it! Well, surely that completes the demolition if it hadn't occurred already. Well, I think we've gone past humiliation now. This could be doing some real psychological damage. The changes then in quick succession. It's become a case of men against boys. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt we'll be looking to, to cause even more damage here. And it's played forward. And now they can launch a counter. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. 
And that's been one straight back. This is quite a run, and he's not done yet. Over hits and out of play. Five minutes left on the clock. It's come loose. Oh, real danger here. Goes down, but nothing given. Driving on now, what can they conjure from here? He's got options out wide. And through to the goalkeeper. Now a chance to break. And the through ball is intercepted. And that has been clubbed away. And that is that. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That is the pressure on the strikers, who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off. Thanks to Jim alongside me, and as the fans make their way home, so must we. Good evening to you.